Hello guys, my name is Simgad, and today I'll be showing you guys a little gameplay of the IS-7, a tier 10 Russian heavy tank. And the first thing you're probably gonna notice is, Simgad, you're, you're blue, you're a team killer, report! Yes, I know, I'm blue. I, um, the previous game before this, I actually remember what happened. The previous game before that, there was a Panzer 2. I was also playing my IS-7, and it was on, uh, I'm not sure which map it was, but the guy was pretty much being the biggest possible dick, he was pushing me out and just being annoying, a tier 8 tank pushing a tier 10 tank out. He was just trying to be annoying, so I got pissed and I shot him twice, that's how I became blue. So now that's cleared up, let's get into the battle. So we are playing on Cliff, it's center battle, a pretty um, good, well actually an awesome matchup, why? Well there is no Artie. And you guys know how I feel about Artie, I hate Artie and I'm really really happy about this whole matchup here. So the first thing I'm going to do here is push completely down this way because I know I can get into a good position down this, down the uh, F9 uh, position because from there I can be actually hold down against people up here. And when there's Artie uh, on this map and you're on this side, you cannot really go to this position. But when there's no Artie, you can go to this position and just wreck people. It's amazing and you will see in a second what I mean. And yeah, the I-7, as you pr guys probably know, is a pretty freaking OP tank. I like the I-7 a lot. Uh, there you go, I, I'm already using the hold down position. The I-8 pushed me out, my, my shot went up to the upper uh, hole of the E-100. That's how I missed, well, that's how I bounced the shot. I tried to run the shot on D-34, that was probably a pen. And if you're thinking, what is my setup on this tank? Um, my setup is vertical stabilizer, gun rammer, optics, and I have food. If you have that setup, it's pretty much the best setup possible, uh, in my opinion. I don't think you can go better than that. As well, on the left side here, you can see the damage blocked, so you can actually keep up with that. I'm already at 3.7k damage block. There's the Amex up the hill being very annoying. Uh, I noticed him, but there's n I don't really want to aim for him because there's tier 10 things in front of me. I don't want to aim for a tier 8 scout because he's a scout, and that's a tier 10. I don't, I don't need to go for an uh, easy target when I, when I can go for the uh, heavy target that actually does uh, need to do something in this matchup. There, I bounced the E100 there, or I, I missed him, I'm not, not sure what happened there. Really unlucky with that shot. So far, only one key damage. Um, AMX standing here. Put a shot into him because nobody else in front of me. 50B gets spotted, CDC gets spotted. Uh, the AMX is being very confident and just clipping that D30 completely. He clipped him. Full six shots went into him. 50B aim for his uh, side cheek there. I don't think I actually hit him there. And yeah, he penned me once, and then he started bouncing. So far, I've been only penned twice, if I'm correct. Yeah, twice. Um, by the 50B and something else. Um, our right side is not doing too good because our right side is being very, very campy. I aim on the 50B. Um, no luck. The shot goes into the wall. And as you guys can see on the right side you want to line there's nothing really happening because our teammates are playing very passive then we have also a TD playing E5 so our whole team is playing passive so I need to do something to get this game going so I start pushing up because I can afford this again there is no RD so don't, don't need to be scared about pushing up I go to the second position on this map and this position is also P because I can be hold down and again they will not be able to pen me E100 and his lower plate I pen him easy and yeah, as you guys can see, I am completely hold down. Look at this. Look at this. It, this is pretty much impenable I-7 right there. There is pretty much no real good way of penning the I-7 here. The I-7 is a really hard target to pen. Like, the only real good weak spot is the lower plate, and that's kind of it. So yeah, the I-7, if it gets into a hold down position, it can destroy people like it's nobody's business. D34, put a shot into him. He's a one-shot now. E100 is a one-shot. This AMX is being very cocky and starting to push out on me, trying to get a shot on me. And just keep an eye on this AMX because he will be annoying for pretty much the whole battle. He was really being annoying and I did not like it. I try a fast aim shot on the AMX 319. No luck. I only managed to miss. And I am not scared of him because I know with that gun, even with gold, he will have problems going through my armor. So I'm just wiggling around to make sure I bounce him. I'm reloaded, but he does know my reload, so he falls back right on time. 
the I see my teammate is pushing here, so I need to like try to help him as uh, help him out and also keep an eye on the scouts. 50B is playing very aggressive. I put a shot into him. I already have almost streaky damage here. And the ISA did not need to play this aggressive. There is really 0, 0.0 need for that. 50P is still in the open. I aim for him in his, into his turret, pen that, and now he's also one shot. So now we have three targets that are one shot E100, D34, and 50P. That's three, three shots, three kills. Um, our middle is completely gone, as you guys can see. The middle is gone. And I know I need to do something here. At the moment, I'm just thinking how can I approach this without getting completely destroyed? Put a shout out to the AMX. Now he's also. No, it's, this is actually the other AMX. I put a shout out to him. Uh, 600 HP left on that guy. The AMX has played this map really good. Uh, well, not good against me, but good against the other people that were on this map. And yeah, our middle is gone. We still have the 1 2 line. But then again, from 1 2 line, we can't really do anything because we can push up. But then again, it's going to be useless pushing up to here. So yeah, I'm just like waiting out, hoping. Um, the E100 will push out so I can kill him. I can't really afford to lose my HP at the moment, that's why I'm playing this really passive playstyle. I don't want to go into a position where I cannot get, um, back off from. Like, if something goes to shit, I want to retreat from that position. And that's why I'm taking things cautious, because I need to make sure we can win this battle. And yes, I'm not playing very aggressive, I get that. I put a shot into the EMX, really fast aim shot, and it went straight into him. That was pure RNG, and thank god the RNG was looking out for me. Um, yeah, the EMX is a one-shot now. A lot of people are one-shots here, so that's good. 50B is a one-shot. All I said managed to die. He pushed a bit too far. There was really no need for it. He killed the E100, so that was good, but he pushed a little bit too far. So at this point, I'm starting to understand, okay, if I push through here, I'm probably going to get destroyed because I don't want to be in the open. So in a second, you will see me falling back, and I'm going to do the good old truck of... Uh, trick, truck? Really? Truck? I mean trick. The good old trick of retreating back, you know, fail retreating. It's not actually going to happen. I will retreat to here until I'm not spotted any anymore. I will turn around, and then the 50B will probably be in front of me because that's how it usually goes. I'm just hoping the guy will actually do something like that. That's why I'm falling back here. I don't really need to fall back, but I need to, I'm falling back hoping uh, that I will have the 50B somewhere in the open because he will try to chase me, pretty much. He's now seeing that I'm going this way, so he's probably pushing up already, trying to chase me, right? So at this point, I will be turning around because I know I'm not spotted anymore. I am not spotted by the EMX, so I can cleanly just turn around here and go against the 50B. I'm just gonna check my position up here first so I don't get flanked from two sides. I'm, I'm gonna check this out, there is nobody here, it means I can just go around and hopefully kill the 50B. EC5 gets spotted, but I cannot hit him from this position. So yeah, I should, from this position I cannot get flanked right now. So I know the 50B is probably going for the flank arena on me, that's why I'm falling back, and you will see in a second if I'm correct or not about my uh, actions here. And yet, here you go, as I expected him to be. Bounces a shot, and I kill him off. So, that's a really good uh, trick if you want to get some money in the open, uh, especially 50B. I don't want to get caught off not seeing him, because if I do manage to miss my, sh my kill shot on the 50B, he can still clip me with four shots. That's why I played it safely, and that's why I did the, you know, the trick of retreating, but I'm actually not retreating, and the guy fell for it, so I was really, really happy about that. At the moment, things starting to look better, as you guys can see. It's 11-10, and I'm actually, I'm actually being happy, because our team is doing pretty good. They're doing not too bad. I understand I need to help out my team uh, down here, because there's an I-7, Waffle Truck, and an E-25, and there's still the AMX, but the AMX is a tier 8 scout, and he's a one-shot, so I don't really care about him too much. I'm going this way, I spot him, I shoot, and yeah, the shot goes straight into the ground. I start falling back because I thought the AMX was going to go and pop out and start clipping me, but he's not doing that. That's why I went with my ass to the rock. So... Um, we got two, two allies left, 5041 and SU-101 against the IS-7, E-25, and the Waffle Truck. Luckily, the E-25 is a one-shot, IS-7 is maybe one-shot, maybe two-shots, depending on the RNG 
and I am not sure how much the Waffle Trunk has. So, I finished out the Eastern 5 and I know I need to fall back down here, because I want to go against the IS-7 and the Waffle Trunk, and I don't want to be spotted by the EMX. So if I can go down here, the only way the EMX will have shots at me is or from there, from there, like up here, or from here, or from there. It really depends. So I know I'm pretty safe in this position, and I'll be able to go against the I-7 and the Waffle Truck frontally. I, I know that the AMX will probably go uh, down the hill and go for me, and I'm just pre-aiming, hoping to spot the I-7 or the Waffle Truck here. AMX spotted right behind me, as I expected it to be. Um, he can't really do much against me. The only thing he can really do is just be annoying. And believe me, this guy played his tag perfect. That's how you play scouts. You try to be as annoying as possible with scouts. And I remember raging a bit at this guy for playing the scout correctly. You know, usually scouts just throw away their tanks like retards. But this guy played his scout correctly. Well, he did play it correctly, kinda, but not really at the same time. Um, here he got cocky, and you will see him making a mistake. He stayed too long, and yeah, there he goes. The problem here was, he was a bit too cocky. And now I have a fighting chance against the IS-7 and the Waffle Truck. And yeah, if you just... If you, if the Amex would wait one minute more for the IS-7 to push up, he could have killed me here easily. But he got a bit too cocky, and got killed by me. Simple. Now, the I-7 is a one-shot, and the Waffle Truck is a one-shot. Um, so yeah, the EMX w did play his tank pretty much correctly the whole game, until the end, until he got a bit too cocky, but yeah, there you go. Now the Waffle Truck is dead, I-7 bounced me. I know I will reload faster than him, because we have pretty much the same reload time. And yeah, I pretty much know it is completely game over. Yeah. Pretty awesome game, and uh, no Top Gun. They could have won that if the Amex would just stay one minute longer and not push out like that. But I'm, ha I'm actually happy he did that because for him doing that, I was able to win the game for my team. But yeah, let's take a look at the Aftermath report. So here's the Aftermath report. You see, I got Isanker, Fighter, Shell Proof, Duelist, Fire for Effect, Bruiser, Cool Headed. Steel Wall and High Caliber, and of course East Anchor. So I had a pretty awesome game. 7.5k damage, um, 11k blocked. Why did I block 11k? Well, the biggest reason was there was no Artie. If there was Artie in that matchup, I would not have the same ma uh, same game because Arties do um, make you play more campy. When you don't have Arties in the enemy team or don't ha don't have Arties at all, you can play more aggressive. You can take more hold down positions and not worry about already shooting you, doing half of your HP in a second. And it's just annoying when that happens. Do you guys have th those moments where you're just driving your tank, you know, your tier 10 tank, and out of nowhere, a Conqueror gun carrier shot appears into your face and you lose 1.8k HP? At that point, you're a one shot, everything is dead in your tank, you have an Amorak, and it's like, oh, what's the point of flying? Already fair and balanced. You know, but when you have no Arties, it is so awesome to be free on the map and not worry about a shell landing on your engine deck. It is the best feeling ever, and that game just proved you on what I mean that and why I hate Arties so much. Because if there was no Arty in that game, I was able to play aggressive, go into positions where I never go to, because if I go to them when there's Arty around, Arty will destroy me. But yeah, awesome game, 24 shots fire, 21 hits, missed 3 shots, bounced 2 shots, and with the 90 Patreon, sh Patreon shots we did 7,579 damage. We blocked for 11k, uh, pretty good, we took really good positions with the IS-7, we pretty much played our IS-7 perfect that game, I don't think you could have played the IS-7 even better than, better than I did, I'm sure, well, no, actually, I don't think you could have played that better. I, I don't think so. And yeah, I actually made profit in that game. 10k profit. It's not much, but hey, it's something. Pretty awesome I7 game. Um, was really, really proud of my score. The I7 is one of the best tanks around, really. At least at tier 10 heavy. And reason why I played so much. It is a really, really fun tank. And if you know how to play it, you will enjoy it a lot. But yeah, that was my replay, guys. If you did enjoy this replay, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment. But as usual, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.